Hi there, we'll start in a couple minutes, but uh, just enjoy some music. Uh, get yourself gathered and collected. I'll start in about three minutes. Hey, I'll start in a couple minutes. Uh, just make sure if you want to participate in the breathing that you're somewhere where it's easy for you to just sit and kind of relax. So obviously not while you're driving. <laughs> Hi, Wendy, how are you doing? And I've been having extraterrestrial experience as contact for many of Paula, how are you? Glad you could join in today. Mm. So I'm excited. This is my first um, first live that I get to do in the new house. This is behind me, you see like the office. We have this really odd little loft space that has a full bookshelf in it, but really no way to get up there other than a weird step ladder. So <laughs> it's a very quirky and fun little house. Um, I, I'm really enjoying being here. And as you can tell, it gets great sunlight here in, our, uh, in the office. Um, and Soon I'll be doing some things out in the studio too, once I get that a little more set up and ready for things. Hmm. Which actually I'll probably do uh, some more physical things next week. Um, might be next Monday, I haven't decided yet, but it'll be more in terms of like stretches and movement for helping for relaxation and de-stress. Okay, so I'm gonna pause my music here. Um, I will gladly share my, some of my favorite like uh, focus, atmospheric playlist, that sort of thing. Um, at the end of this um, and just so you know like I'm, I'm doing this on uh, Instagram as well as Facebook so if it looks like I'm looking in a couple different places it's because I am because in order to do that I have two different cameras with my phone and my computer um, and also glancing at my notes so that's just what's happening but mostly what you get to do now is just get yourself to sit comfortably um, what uh, optional lay down if you want. Um, just make yourself comfortable. Um, and um, I'll give you just like, we're gonna, I'll give you some like some little bit of words about what we're gonna do and then take you through the demo. Um, so what I'm working with there today is um, looking at um, a breathing technique that can really help when you're feeling stressed. Um, and it can, it, it's one of those things that a lot of times when we breathe, we get very, very constricted. Um, we tend to breathe mostly up in the top part of our lungs. We're not using our full body, and, and that doesn't allow our nervous system to be able to reset itself um, and can actually exacerbate uh, the stressful situation. Um, now, that's to say there was good stress and there's bad, you know, there's good stress. 
and, and I feel weird using the labels like good and bad, but there's, there's stress that's useful, that motivates you, that gets you going, maybe enlivens you, like adrenaline, like if you love doing something and you get really excited, like that's a kind of stress that works in your favor. Um, whereas when you're, if you're dealing with uh, stress, uh, that's coming from um, situations that maybe are hard for you to control um, or because of life events or things that are happening um, that are causing you to be in a state of being constantly like on high alert. Um, and I, I also want to give like the, like my, like I'm aware that there's a lot of a lot of self-care and de-stress things out there. And that, that, yes, there are things we can do for ourselves as individuals to help lower stress levels. And there's also things that we can't control for. So if we have chronic health conditions that cause the body's response to stress to be different um, than how we might like them, um, you know, different phases of life are gonna do things like affecting sleep levels. So if you're a new parent, if you're a menopausal woman, um, if you're, you know, any, any of that, not just women in general, but just all. Um, and so the reason I'm, I'm wanting to just like provide this as a tool that you can use as uh, exploration, um, just so you can kind of help give yourself a little, um, you know, reset button. Um, it's not necessarily a fix all for everything. Um, but it's worth giving it a try and see if it works for you. Some people like breathing uh, techniques um, and some people try it and it doesn't work for them and that's fine. So yeah, here we go. Um, so if you're just joining and you, we haven't met, I'm Nancy from Dance Play Thrive. And uh, one of the things that I really enjoy doing is helping people find ways of getting the most out of their life. Um, some people call that being healthy, um, but I'm, I'm not, um, I, I'm really kind of shifting away from selling health because it's not always something we can control. Um, but what we can work with is basically like how we respond to life and how we deal with things and, um, have the kind of, uh, sense of feeling like we're participating in our life rather than just, you know, being run over by it. Uh, so if you are, um, you know, watching the live, um, you can, some of you have already said hello, you can drop a little like, uh, like or heart or something just so I know you're here. And, um, sometimes I see the comments real time. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag. So, you know, if you have a question, I will get to them at the end. So I will read through the comments if you have any questions on anything that we've covered today in the breathing technique, or if you have other questions in general, it can be unrelated to breathing, it can be whatever it is that's on your mind. Uh, you can share that at any time and I'll look at those before we end the session. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain it first. So I'm gonna read through my notes so you can just hear what's gonna happen and then I'm gonna demonstrate it. So, and I just want you to just relax. Um, don't stress out about trying to do de-stressing breathing correctly, okay? <laughs> you don't get to beat yourself up because you're not doing it wrong, you're just learning something. So just take it easy on yourself. So, first thing to do is just get somewhere where you're comfortable. Like if you're sitting in a chair, if you can, uncross your legs, let your feet sit comfortably on the floor. Uh, find somewhere comfortable for your arms and your hands to be, whether it's in your lap, uh, on a table, on the you know arms of a chair, whatever it happens to be. And just settle into your seat. So really feel your butt connect with your seat if you're seated. If you happen to be laying down when you're listening to this, then just allow your whole body to just really connect with whatever surface you're lying on, kind of like you're melting into it just a little bit. And what I want you to do is before you try to do any changes to your breath, is just gently place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth. So it's just right be behind your front teeth. So I'm not really gonna demonstrate it because as I'm talking, it's really hard to do. 
But it's like if you have something, you know, when you have something kind of stuck in your teeth and you rub your tongue along there. So, and it's just gentle. You don't have to smash anything. So just that. So what I want you to do is on your next breath, you're gonna just be inhaling, however, and I want you to exhale through your mouth and you're gonna be making like a whooshing sound. So sometimes I refer to this as like the Darth Vader breath. It doesn't have to be that loud. Um, or it's a breath like you're fogging up a mirror um, or maybe like when you <sighs> breathe into your hand to kind of smell what might be going on with your, you know, if your breath is okay. And then you're gonna close your mouth and breathe in quietly through your nose for four counts. So remember right now I'm just talking about what's gonna happen here. You don't have to be doing it perfectly yet or doing it at all. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you hold your breath for seven counts. And then breathing out, taking your time and counting for eight. So what we're doing is we're doing a staggered count with the breath rather than just an in, out, in, out, in, out. Uh, this helps with the mindful connection, um, is very soothing for our autonomic nervous system um, because our vagus nerve runs through our diaphragm. Vagus nerve runs the whole length of our body and helps regulate a lot of our systems and how we respond to things. And so with using, uh, as we breathe, it engages our diaphragm, which also then stimulates the vagus nerve. So as it's going nice and slow, it helps things just kind of calm down. So we're gonna do this um, in some cycles and it really doesn't take very long at all. So just think in mind that sequence, so we've got four, we've got seven and we've got eight. So you've got inhaling for four counts, holding it for seven counts and exhaling for eight counts. And if you wind up exhaling it all out and you don't get to eight, that's fine. Like I said, don't worry, don't stress about doing de-stressing activities, okay? So just put that to the side. So basically what we're doing is we're getting the exhale to be longer than our inhale. So even if you don't do the count perfectly, just try it. Also taking your, holding your breath for seven counts takes a little practice. So uh, just roll with whatever and however things are feeling. So, all right, are we ready? And give a little like thumbs up or a heart or whatever it is, but just like, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate. So remembering that we're gonna be breathing out through the mouth. So make sure, see if you can hear it. Now I won't be able to hear it. You might be able to hear me, but just do it loud enough that you can hear yourself. You don't have to scare anybody. And then you can close your mouth. And you're gonna breathe in through your nose. So you're gonna breathe in. And then you're gonna hold. That was one round. Okay. If you wound up joining in, how did that feel? Go ahead and you can use like you can use the comments or you can just do a little like you know heart, whatever that is. Um, because yeah, I want to know like how is this feeling? How is this working? So we can try that a few more times. So just notice that if you're um, if you do this and you're feeling a little lightheaded or a little dizzy um, or maybe even a little out of breath, just know that it this is something that can take practice. So at first, a little sensation like that uh, might be a little telling you like, oh, you know, I don't normally breathe like this. It might be that you don't normally take deep breaths, um, and so your body has a little bit of. Uh, you know, it's giving you that information with sensations um, that this is something that, you know, might be beneficial. So let's try this again. All right. So we're going to do another few counts of this one. Let's do three. Let's do four rounds. So we're going to do four rounds of this four, seven, and eight. So you're going to exhale out all the air that's in your lungs.
And again. and so on. So I'm actually not going to continue. I didn't want to, I don't want this video to be particularly long, but you can just continue with that breathing. Um, I've also noticed that if I'm having a hard time falling asleep, doing a rhythmic breathing exercise like this, where I'm filling my lungs all the way up, and not just in the front, but really feeling it around the back of my rib cage, and the bottom of my lungs. So doing a, an inhale and then seeing if I can have a longer exhale. That sometimes that's helped me settle in enough that I can fall asleep. Hi, Melissa. I'm glad you can join. So I will be saving this video so that way it's available to watch after it. Um, it'll be saved on Instagram in my uh, Instagram TV and uh, also in the Facebook group, the Radical Thriving group. And I also wanted to say that... Um, I'm going to be posting about um, uh, in, like a, a downloadable ebook about with different breathing techniques, um, as well as next week I'll do a live session that has some wonderful stretches and movement for de-stressing. So you'll get a chance to stay tuned with me for that, where you can either join in live or watch it in the replay. Uh, either way, like I'd love. Uh, feedback and comments like I want to know if this is something that is useful um, and even if it's something you've experienced before um, you know maybe it's a chance a reminder to come back into it and practice a little bit more um, and just um, you know give yourself the, that time to attend to whatever's happening in your body and in your lungs um, because there's actually you know there's a really big payoff to being able to, to help yourself, um, even if it is just helping you just like center to be able to deal with whatever in the world is going on. And I, I will also be posting a link for um, this downloadable guide. Um, it's just called Unplug. Uh, it has a bunch of different breathing techniques. Hey, Sahara. And, um, and it's free. It has a lot of really great tips in it. And I'm really hoping that you um, that you enjoy it and you find it useful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I'll check here and see if in any of the comments we've had anything here. It doesn't look like it, but I'll give it a moment for anyone who wants to type anything up. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah, I'm really glad that, that you were able to join. So, ah, all the wonderful breathing things, inhales and exhales and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, so this doesn't look like there's any other comments or questions. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and uh, just stay tuned. I'll be posting the links shortly. Um, if you're watching this on Instagram, uh, I invite you to join the Radical Thriving group. Um, it's the one that's uh, Revolutionary Health and Fitness, and it's a place where I often post um, information and content like this, um, just to be able to help everyone just kind of deal with life and hopefully like thrive a little bit and find a little space for themselves. So. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and take care.